They're among the newcomers adjusting to the altitude of the Mile High City. An estimated 40,000 migrants have arrived in Denver, Colorado in the past year, and many now call it home. A small army of volunteers helps them get acclimated. Just knowing the struggle, you know, it's, it's not easy for anybody. We all struggle. I mean, I personally work two jobs just to <laughs> make my bills. But um, just really, you know, you have to have compassion and, and care. It's the approach the University of Colorado Hospital has taken. In the emergency department at the University of Colorado Hospital, we probably see between 20 and 50 uh, migrants per day. Dr. Richard Zane says these likely migrants, the hospital doesn't ask their immigration status, have no insurance, little or no ability to pay for their treatment. We are caring for everybody who needs care and seeks care across our entire health care system. Uh, but, and it's a big but, it's simply not a sustainable formula. In a three-month period through January, the hospital treated 2,500 new patients who appeared to be from outside the country, a 78% increase over the same period last year. Total cost, at least $10 million. Other hospitals in the UC Health System, other hospitals in general, have seen a similar trend. It's most assuredly and without equivocation not sustainable. The costs of this uncompensated care, which may be considerably higher than we realize, are ultimately passed on to those of us who are insured, creating a huge burden for society. We have to use empathy for the immigrants and the sad, tragic story of those immigrants by escaping uh, living hell. And we also have to understand the viewpoint of voters and taxpayers and the government. And medical providers, who partly because migrants often don't have medical records with them, can't deliver optimal care. What happens when we discharge a patient? Do they have a home to go to? Do they have a way to get there? If they need medications, can they get medications? If they require follow-up care, how do they get follow-up care? And we don't have great answers for that right now. Zane says when it comes to the migrant issue, the alarm bells are ringing but there's no quick fix. There are no simple solutions. There's no instant pudding. There's no magic box. Uh, it's a complex problem, which requires complex, thoughtful solutions. Solutions, which he says, don't appear in sight at the moment. Meantime, the care for these new members of our communities goes on. No one is being turned away. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.